Hi everyone, welcome back to Lair Academy. It's Mickey, and today in this tidbit, we're going to be talking about traits. To explain what a trait is and does, you can think of it as inheriting another class's functions. In the end, this allows us to inherit multiple classes and their functions while keeping our controller, model, or any other PHP class simplistic. In today's lesson, we'll be covering a trait using a model. In our project, we have three tables, the users table, addresses table, and phone number table. Two of these tables are using an active flag to determine whether or not the record is active. We could actually use the soft delete function in Laravel, however, for this lesson, we'll keep using active. If I wanted to query my database to find any addresses that are active, I would have to use the where active equals true flag on our SQL statement. If we take a look in Tinker, we could say slash app slash address where active equals true and then get those records. You can see that it's returning all of the active records for our addresses. With this knowledge, we could start writing query scopes. Take for instance, our phone number class. We could write a scope of active that takes in a query and all it does is it returns the query append it with the where statement, where active equals true. If we go back to PHP Iris and Tinker, we will close out and reload it so we grab all of the new classes. And in this case, we do slash app, phone number, active, get. You can see that we're going to get all of the active phone numbers because of the scope here. Now what if we wanted to get all of the active addresses from this model? We don't have the scope, so that means that if we come back to Artisan Tinker and we run app address active get, we're going to get an error here. You can see that active is not found on our model. We could fix this by copying and pasting the scope from the phone number into our address, reloading Tinker, then trying again. And once we do that, we can see that we have all of the active addresses. However, what we're doing is we're starting to duplicate this code in multiple places. What we can do is we can add a trait so we're not duplicating this code. Let me show you. Within our app folder, we'll create a new folder and let's call it traits. And within this traits folder, let's make a new file. We will save this file and call it modelscopes.php. With that now saved, We'll just start off by writing our regular PHP tag, adding our namespace here, and we are in app slash traits. And now we can go ahead and start writing our trait. Instead of writing class model scopes, the only thing we have to change is say trait model scopes. Now what this allows us to do is to put any functions that we want accessible to any of our other classes in here. For example, we can grab this scope active, let's cut it out of address and paste it into our model scopes. With our model scopes saved, let's switch back to the address and save this file as well. If we reload artisan tinker, we should get an error when we try to call the active function within the address class itself. Here you can see the active method is not defined. Back within our address model, let's import our model scopes. So we'll say use app slash traits slash model scopes. And now we have to tell our address class that we want to inherit the functions within model scopes. So we can use a use statement here and save everything, reload Tinker and try it again. With Tinker reloaded, we should be able to call the active scope and it will work perfectly. So even though within our address model, we don't actually have the scope active, we're using this trait, which includes the scope active here. So that gives our class access to the scope. To clean things up, we can import the model scopes inside our phone number, and we can tell the class to also use that trait. And finally, we can get rid of the scope active. So now we have two models using model scopes, and because they're both using the active flag, we're able to successfully query the scope active on both. We could add as many scopes as we want to this trait. For example, we could create 
a method called scope order where we pass in the query, the field we want to order by, and then the order, so the sort itself. By default, we'll have it ascending. All we need to do is return the query, append an order by on there with the field and the sort. You can see this is a little redundant as Laravel has a order by function already, but this is just an example. We can reload PHP Artisan Tinker to grab the new classes. Now with changing model scopes.php, we can access the phone number model. We can pass in the active query scope as well as the order query scope. And let's order them by area code and then get. And you can see changing the one trait actually allows us to use the function. Even though the function does not exist in the phone number model, we're able to use it because we're using the model scopes trait. So anything we add to that trait, we're going to have access to within any of our models. We can even use this model scopes within our user class. Even though our user class does not have any of the fields that are within our scope, it will not throw any errors. For example, we can reload PHP artisan tinker and we can query all of the users and it will return just as normal. If we try to query all of the active users, we will see an error because we don't have that field within our database. You can see a column not found error, and the column it is looking for is active. However, within model scopes, we do have one function that we can use. Let's say we want to order our users by the name. We could say app user order, name, and then get. Because of the way that it is written, our trait will work for us perfectly. And that brings us to an end in this lesson. Hopefully you'll come away with an understanding of traits and be able to use them within your own projects. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.